Hi, guys. Welcome back to Watch With Us. Uh, my name is John Keel. My name is Ricardo Sime. If I'm looking over here, I just told Ricardo, he's, he's on my screen here because I have stuff I'm looking at at this screen because I, I can't get my eyes off it. Um, so Ricardo posted something on Instagram today, which is the brand new Omega Seamaster Aquaterra Ultralight. Mm -hmm. uh, so quick thoughts let's let's first impressions don't get to the meat and potatoes of you you know what we're going to talk about ricardo yeah. so quick thoughts on the watch first thoughts one i think technically it, it's a it's a great accomplishment it's a full titanium watch um the case is this alloy called gamma titanium um the movement is titanium so I definitely give them, you know, big thumbs up for actually going forward and kind of doing something new in that regard. Um, funny thing is, I've been seeing some comments. Some people say it looks like, I don't know if you're familiar with the Fractura Nox Inox. Yeah. Uh, it it kind of has that look to it. Um, I don't quite know how thick it is yet, but it definitely reminds me of that watch, um, especially if you look at the red and the gray version. Yeah. Comes in at 41 millimeters. I think that's a good size. Um, I think it might be a little too big for some people, but still, I think that's a size. That's a reasonable size okay. for everyone. What about design-wise? I mean, aside from it looking like uh, Victorinox, I mean... Design-wise, I mean, it, it definitely has that Aquaterra look. Yeah. That signature Aquaterra look. Um, I Design-wise, I like it. Um, I'm a sucker for a date, so it already loses points for that uh, because it's, it basically doesn't have a date complication, which makes the second thing we're going to talk about be, make me even more. So, all right. So I'm the other way around, which I think I've said a couple of times. I prefer a watch with no date. I don't know why. I just like the aesthetics of it. Um, and, you know, simple as that. I, I dig the crown setup, right? So the crown yeah. is recessed. Uh, yeah. And it, you know, you can... You could pop it in and out, which is nothing new. It's not, I mean, this is, we've seen this on other watches before, right? So I think it's a great idea, right? If, especially, you know, they're not, they're not telling you to play golf in it, but they're certainly billing it as a golf inspired kind of watch. Rory Mac McElroy is, uh, I guess, the ambassador for this. I know a bunch of guys are going to be wearing this at the open this weekend. Um, I think it's great. Yeah. Um, the um, movement's fantastic. It's beautiful. It's titanium, like you said. Um, I think that there's a huge elephant in the room. So the reason that we're, I mean, you're at work. I'm at work. We didn't plan this video. And I think the reason that we jumped on this so quickly and wanted to get this out so quickly is because of the price. Yes. Be before we get into that, and I'm not going to make any friends here with Omega, nor am I going to make any friends with Autumn Arpigay. But I, I, a thought went through my head that I feel like Omega is not going to allow Audemars Piguet and the Code 1159 to be the biggest flop of the year. <laughs> 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 I, think, I, I think that's what happened. And this is coming in, I mean, I don't even want to say the price. You say the price. And then mind you, when you say that, that's not even design-wise. I think some people had some, some opinions about the 5711 design-wise. I, I think just as a design, I think the design works. But I agree. The price, which comes in at $48,600, is <laughs> hard for people to swallow. $48,000 and change for especially, a <laughs> especially guys like us who like watches, where we could immediately start putting other watches next to this that could total this watch. You could have a luxurious five watch collection for that price a hundred percent in precious metals and uh wow i mean so we're looking at a titanium and and granted the titanium movement is a huge accomplishment and it's absolutely gorgeous but we're looking at a titanium three-hander with no date hand wound for forty eight thousand yep. dollars the the you know what <laughs> part kind of it was like the icing on the cake that kind of just made me just even more angry the no complication like there's just pure three-hander 
can't even give me a date for fifty thousand dollars. Well, I'm I'm thinking to myself. So I saw your your Instagram post earlier today, and I'm like, you know, so for those of you, you know, to kind of get an inside look, you know, Ricardo gets a lot of the the press releases as they're coming out to all the all the press, and you know, you instantaneously put up some of the cool stuff on our Instagram, right? So, you know, this morning, first thing, I'm you know, I wake up, I'm I'm thumbing through my Instagram, and I see our post, the watch with us post on this watch. I'm like, Oh, this is fantastic. Great watch. I love the titanium. I think the design is great. I love the recessed crown. And I didn't look much further into it at all. And, okay. and I'm thinking to myself, you know, if this is a six, seven or $8,000 watch, I think it's a home Perfect. run. It's a Perfect. home run, you know, for Perfect. a moment. Ago. And then all of a sudden, you know, just to give everybody again, a little bit of an insight, you, you contacted, you texted me and said, Hey, I think we should do an Instagram live on this. And then we started going back and forth. And when you mentioned the price, I was sure that you mistyped it. Nope. <laughs> nope. So, price, yeah. I mean, look, the, the code 1159 was not my cup of tea. It wasn't many people's cup of tea. And it really got bashed at SIHH. And I gen, genuinely kind of think that uh, either Omega had a typo in all of its press releases or, or they're just not going to let the code 1159 be the biggest flop of the year. <laughs> You're speechless. <laughs> I, I, mind you, I said fifty-seven eleven earlier. So I, that, I, mean, I know you meant, yeah. But it's I, I, I'm looking at the pictures and I, like I, I, there were some comments on the Instagram post, and I was just like, you know what? I could see this is definitely one of those. Um, a lot of R and D work came, um, you know, was probably built into this. Sure. A lot of time, and I completely understand that. Um, I'm also happy that, you know what, it's not another limited edition. Yeah. <laughs> but I think the, the, that price point is just very hard. To, like, and when we were talking about this on the phone. It reminds me of like when the first HD TV came out and they were just like ridiculously priced. Yeah. They still were like, I think under 10 grand. They weren't like 20, 30, 50 grand. Yeah, no, I remember, I remember back when the big flat panel plasmas or whatever they were at the time came out. I mean, I know people were spending eight, nine, ten, eleven thousand dollars for them. Yeah. But at the time, it was genuinely revolutionary where you didn't have to have a big square box TV that weighed a thousand pounds, right? Okay. You had something you hang on the wall. And uh, so it made a big difference. And, okay. you know. and so you immediately saw, okay, I see why this is this. Right. And with that, within three years, the prices were down to like under two grand. And at another three years, you were spending about four or $500 for these TVs. Right. Yeah. I just bought a 55 inch for, I think six or $700, not too long ago. Exactly. So, so I think, I think Omega is trying to make up all of their R and D costs in uh, in the sale of two watches. Yeah. And I was talking to one of the cats from 10 and two, um, 10 into uh, the podcast, I was talking to her and she kind of had the same idea. She was like, you know what, maybe this is one of those, you know, the first release and then we get to see this technology down the line, which would be cool, but it's still hard to, like right now at $48,600, I could pick me up a Calatrava, still have money enough for a new GMT, yeah. a GMT, and still have a couple thousand dollars left for, uh, I mean, some uh, some APs. So I still have money left. And you know what you can always get if you're a golfer? You can grab that Tag Heuer connected golf watch that has the readout of the golf course, tells you how far you are from the hole. It's got 38,000 golf courses stored in it. You know, yeah, I agree. I agree. So it's that's the part that's really hard to follow. And I know somebody out there is going to be like, well, it's just you saying that because you can't afford it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't afford it. You're right. Yes, but yes, I, well, yes I, I can't afford it. Even if I could, this is not the watch I'm spending $50,000 on. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's the point. All yeah. right. And, and look. I wouldn't buy this. I, I'm sorry. I wouldn't buy this. There's so many other things I could buy with this money. Totally agree. And for all of you guys at Omega, who I know are probably not thrilled with this video, I love Omega. I love my Speedmasters. You know, we're going to the Speedy Tuesday event. I love Omega. I don't know what the heck you're doing here. I, I don't even know. 
hey, it is what it is. Um, very cool, man. Well, I appreciate you taking some time out of your work day. Yeah, uh, make, yeah. Make, this, is, this is my lunch. I should be eating. I was just going to say, make sure your boss doesn't let you know that this is what you're doing. <laughs> oh, no. This is, this is lunchtime. Boss, this is lunchtime. I got a few minutes left, and then I'm going back to work. But I just figured, wow. While let's, I'm, bang it out. let's bang out this video because it's just crazy. It, yeah. It's so, so look, guys, anybody uh, interested in buying this watch what, or, or, you know, seriously disagree with us, let us know why. I'd love to know in the comments below. Tell us if we're way off base. Um, yeah. You know, any other comments, thoughts, and suggestions, uh, put in the comments below as well. I'm uh, really interested to see how the, how the, the blogosphere and, and everybody, you know, takes this thing. I'm telling you, so far, since this morning when I made that post, the general consensus seems to be great looking watch, great design, love the use of materials, but oh my gosh, what are they thinking about that price? Again, eight thousand dollar watch, seven thousand dollar watch. I think it's a home run. Yep, fifty grand. I, I even, I even go as high as ten thousand simply because it's the first. It's yeah, and and look, even even an argument for eleven, right? I mean, but four times that, five times that. Ugh, you know, hard to swallow. Hard, very hard. To swallow. Hard to swallow. So I'm very interested to see where this goes. So thank you guys so much for watching, uh, Ricky Ricardo. Thank you so much for chiming in and and taking your lunch time. And uh, okay, make sure you guys subscribe. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we're going to be doing a giveaway. I'm going to launch the video uh, this week sometime. So we have a Ooh. new giveaway. We've got a couple of really awesome things to give away. I know we have at least one watch and one really nice pen. And uh, I'm trying to see what else we can put together. So uh, make sure you guys subscribe and make sure you follow our Instagram because that is how you enter. When we have a giveaway, all we do is we pull together our subscribers and our followers, both on YouTube and Instagram, and we do an absolute random drawing based on those. So if you follow us in both, you're going to have two entries. So uh, look out for that video. Thank you guys so much. Have a, have a wonderful day, and I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about this, uh, this new Omega Aquaterra Ultra Light. Right. <laughs> okay, guys. See you guys soon. Ciao. Thanks, guys.